Hey guys, Zogi Saint here and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are doing a fantastic day and it is the weekly loot cave reset. As you guys know, we do this weekly series where we update you guys on the best spots to go and farm for the components that have reset per week on hard mode difficulty as well as the reactors. Now this week we have a couple of notable reactors that we have been adding to the cheat sheet. So I'm going to share that with you guys and we're just going to cover everything in this video. It's not going to be too long, but there will be timestamps down below. So check them out if you are just hunting specific things. And also just before we get into it, if you guys could go ahead and hit that subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. And as you guys can see up on screen, our subscribers to our viewers ratio is pretty bad. So if you guys could go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that would really help me out. And I appreciate your beautiful faces even more. But without further ado, let's just hop straight into the video. Now let's have a look at what is dropping this week. We have auxiliary power and sensors on rotation this week. So it is these two items. As recently we did a video covering all the component stats and best in slot stats. We have all the best in slot stats over here for components. We have all the reactor rolls and stuff. And this was provided to us by Ajawaska Shooper. So massive shout out to you. But as you guys can see, we have the video link there as well. So if you want to go see everything there is to know about components, their stat rolls, the best stats, everything. There is the long video or you can just come here for a TLDR and just cover everything with this document. And as usual, this will be linked down below in the description, the TFD Bible. So go check it out. We are updating it all the time. So let's hop into this week's auxiliary power farm. We have the Echo Swamp Abandoned Zone. Now, as you guys know, this is dubbed what I call the Bunny Gold Cave. So the Bunny Loot Cave. It is the best gold per hour in the game currently. Although the Volby run is not far behind it and it's much, much easier to do the Volby run. But this week we do have the auxiliary powers dropping from here. They should totally go ahead and farm those up. So this week I'm actually going to go farm up a bit of gold. And then at the same time you do get Volt keys as well as the encrypted neural circuits and the thermal metallic foil. I don't know for what those are exactly, but materials are materials so materials are always worthy getting that's just a little bonus on the side so you will be getting a good amount of gold from this and obviously the auxiliary power supply components just make sure when you are doing this farm that every now and then if like every couple of runs or so you want to go down below and dip into the caves to pick up all the loot because i'm not sure what the despawn timer is but i have heard theories going around the internet where it's about three minutes when stuff starts despawning like gold and materials and stuff like that on the ground so just make sure you are picking everything up every now and then when you are going through because it's kind of like a little obstacle course but you'll get the hang of it it's a really good farm overall and if you have a max range uh, bunny you can just pretty much wipe out everything by just running around the top on the top you don't even have to jump down below you can just run over the top and everything will melt but like i said you do want to go down below and pick all your loot up before it despawns and then moving on to the sensor farm now this is in the agna desert the remnant and this mission is kind of like not the greatest that is a little bit better there's two missions in the zone i have tried both the other one you can like collect the batteries and then leave it until the end kind of like how we do in the hard mode infiltrations but for this one it took about five minutes to fully do the mission like you know let it time out in that and we only got about four or five reactors whereas the other mission you can finish in about two minutes and you get about the same result of reactors so you might as well do the faster one even though it is a little bit more annoying going around collecting all the power things you just have to kill the three elites they drop the power core you put in a thing and then you rinse and repeat and then until the end you'll get a little boss wave so this is the easiest and the fastest way of doing it not very great missions in the zone but it is what it is for the week if you need your sensor you gotta go ahead there and farm up your best in slot sensor with that one but then at the same time the elites of here have a chance to drop the mixed energy residue which is really good as that is the material you need to actually craft catalysts so that is very important that you are getting those it's only a small little chance to get it from the elites on this mission but nonetheless it is there and i did get it on some runs and then the other thing they are dropping is the positive ion particle as well as vault keys dropping from the enemy so a nice little bunch of extra loot that you can get from this farm so good luck with your sensor and then reap the rewards of all the extra loot now let's have a look at some notable reactors for the week we have just jotted down what we think are the best reactors for this week especially the lipic impact rounds one and the vs special rounds as the build that i'm going for on vs is going to use the secret garden so the special rounds would be really strong on her and then there's a frainer special rounds one as well and then obviously you guys all know lipic does need that impact rounds to get the most out of his one shot ko you know bossing build and we have some honorable mentions over there the best one for bunny this week is also an impact rounds as the other one i believe was um special rounds that she doesn't really have a weapon that synergizes with her but for impact rounds she does have the blue beetle so you can play around with that and then volby again has impact and special rounds because you can kind of just use whatever you want on volby and then ajax as well special rounds we have for the secret garden so these are my notable reactors for the week but if you want to double check in game all you do is come in game go to map difficulty level rewards and you can see right over here all the different reactors that are dropping so if you are looking for a general rounds reactor you go general rounds you see look through 
Let's see, chill tech. So there is one there that you could get for Viesa. But like I said, my Viesa build is going to use a secret garden. So I won't really go for this. But if you want a general rounds chill tech one for Viesa, you just go ahead and it takes you to the map and you just go ahead there and then find yourself a good mission that you like there. And you can also reference back to the Bible with the mission types. So if you go to mission types, you can see the different types of missions and like how we rate them. Extermination and parody activation being the best. And then the next best would either be seizure or defense. And then multi seizure is just a bigger seizure mission. So that's how you go ahead and check that if you are looking for any other reactors that we did not mention. Otherwise, these reactors are pretty good. The bunny farm is pretty decent. The Lepic farm is pretty fast as well as the Viesa farm. All three of these are really decent for the week. So go ahead and farm to your heart's content. I know I'm going to go look for a better Viesa one and maybe we'll go farm my bunny one. This is a really good mission over there, the water cooling recording device. It kind of has like a little specific way to set it up. I'll show you guys now in the background. So you start the mission, you run over, you activate the beacon and then you go towards the cave as you want the first set of enemies to actually go towards the point and stay on the point like two or three of the enemies so the point doesn't capture. So you can just farm the mission until it kind of times out. So you run between the like little cave there and you run back and forth killing all the enemies without killing the enemies on the point. Now my bunny was not set up for this as I have a high voltage build. So I just took high voltage off and then that um, my max range is still pretty big. But obviously when you remove high voltage, you lose the cooldown. So my build is a little bit wonky in the background. Don't worry about that. Just don't have like high voltage max range. Otherwise you will kill the guys on the point when you run past. I was almost killing them with my bunny build. So just make sure you are not killing them on the point. So the mission can then time out. I think it's about two and a half minutes that you have and then the mission times out and you just restart it and you do it again it's a really great farm for bunny reactors and it's not too bad for gold and kuiper and other stuff as well and then the lepic one is the best out of the two missions in the zone i tried the other one was extermination it's not bad you can finish it in like 30 seconds on bunny because like if you have a max range bunny just jump up and down in the house and it murders everything but the one i could suggest is the one playing in the background where you pick up those keys from the elites and you put all three of them in and you have to kill the elite basically the same as the sensor farm in the agna desert so you go ahead and do that and this one just has more enemies so that's why i recommend this one over the other one it's a little bit longer so obviously more enemies gives you more chance at loot and that's what we're after just all those reactors for the pick and then last but not least we have the viesa one and this one is super simple really fast it's a little extermination mission and it's a pretty small little area so you can just run up and down with your bunny and murder everything in there and then get yourself a bunch of viesa rack and another little tip on the side is this could actually be a good farm for Haley, as we know Haley is going to be a cold based descendant as well so if you're farming for viesa you may as well double dip and then just save some good ones for your Haley as well what to go for stat wise i'm not sure because i don't know what her build's going to do but it looks like she has like some massive rail cannon so probably crit damage and colossus damage we'll have to see when we get her and then start building her up right away but that's going to be it for this video hopefully you guys liked it if you have any suggestions or you want me to add anything check them down below in the comments get out there farm up your best components and reactors and have a blast on tfd thank you guys so much for watching if you liked the video please drop a sub and a like to the channel Helps me out so much and i'll catch you beautiful people in the live streams as well as the next video okay say now Run free and dive into the sky Hear the